Hello everyone, welcome to Kids Club. It's really lovely to be with you again. Let's begin today by saying the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We're going to do some singing now. and uh, So make some space and get ready for some actions and maybe get some instrument instruments out. We are going to sing One Way and Bigger Than Big.
you made our big blue sky You made the oceans deep and wide God, you made the trees so tall And your love is bigger than it all God, you're bigger than big You're stronger than strong You are mightier than mighty And louder than this song And your love for me Stretches farther than far I can't imagine just how big you are Just how big you are God, you made our big blue sky You made the oceans deep and wide God, you made the trees so tall And your love is bigger than it all God, you're bigger than big You're stronger than strong You are mightier than mighty Farther than far I can't imagine Just how big you are Just how big you are God, you're bigger than big You're stronger than strong You are my Today, we're thinking about somebody that Paul and Barnabas met on their travels. They went to a place called Philippi. There was a woman that lived in Philippi there, and her name was Lydia. Now, Lydia was really, really rich. She had a big house, and she had lots of servants, and lots of money to buy beautiful things. She earned lots of money selling purple cloth. Now, purple cloth was the most expensive cloth you could buy then. But you know what? Lydia wasn't happy. She wasn't happy being rich. She knew she needed something more. Something more than just money. So every Saturday, she went down beside the river with some friends to pray. Lydia knew that God was with her. She knew that she needed to know God. One day, as they were praying down by the river, some men arrived. Can we pray with you? they asked. Of course, said Lydia. What are your names? I am Paul, said one man. This is my friend Barnabas. Paul and Barnabas told the women about Jesus. At once Lydia knew what she needed. I want to know Jesus, she said. She said to Paul and Barnabas, please stay in my house. God was with me and you helped me know what I needed most. I needed Jesus. And if you want to look that story up, you can find it in the book of Acts, chapter 16, verses 11 to 15. So Lydia was an amazing woman, really, because although she had loads of money and everything she could have wanted, she knew that the one thing missing in her life was Jesus. And that's the same for us sometimes. We, th 
we think that lots of stuff and things and presents and money will make us happy. And they do sort of make us happy for a little bit. But actually, what makes us really, really happy on the inside is knowing Jesus. Wasn't Lydia an amazing woman? And her purple cloth is what made her money in the first place. So today, when we think about Lydia and we've learned how amazing she was and that money really wasn't important, but God was, we're going to go on a purple scavenger hunt. Me and Grace, we've already been on ours. <gasps> Look what we found. So many purple things. I didn't think we'd have much in my house, but do you want to see what's inside? Oh, <gasps> Purple towel. Oh, there's more. Oh, it's round. It's heavy. Purple bubble bath. What else is inside? Mm, let's see. Oh, a purple. have we got so far? A purple towel, a purple bubble bath and a purple book. Three purple things. Do you think you've got more than three? Oh I've got some more things in my bag. A beautiful purple pebble. You only painted this pebble for me isn't it lovely? Sparkly purple pencil, a purple pen, and Grace's purple lipstick. So how many purple things did I find? Let's see if we can remember. Towel, bubble bath, book, pencil, Pen, lipstick and pebble. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I find seven purple things in my house when I was thinking about Lydia. How many purple things can you find in your house? See if you can find more than seven. I wonder who is going to find the most. Send us a message. And tell us how many purple things you found. Or if you want to, you can take a photograph of all the purple things you found. And then we'll see next week who beat Grace and I. Seven purple things is the number to beat. Have fun while you're thinking about Lydia. And I'll see you next week. Bye. Hi everyone, I've come into the garden today to enjoy the beauty of God's creation and to give thanks for all that God has given us. Some of us might not be rich in terms of material terms, but we have got so much that we can be thankful to God for. And even though Lydia was a really rich woman, without Jesus, none of that really mattered. So let's each give thanks to everything that God has given us, this beautiful sunshine, our gardens, places to play and things to enjoy and most of all, relationship with God through Jesus Christ. Shall we say our final prayer? Lord Jesus, thank you for Kids Club and all that we've learnt this morning about Lydia and about how you have led her into a relationship with you that meant more to her than anything that she could own or have as a belonging. Pray that we would know too, Lord Jesus, the importance of having you in our lives beyond anything that money can buy. We ask this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. And so, just our final prayer as we go on our way and hopefully enjoy the rest of this day. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with every single one of you evermore. Are you ready for a big amen? Amen! Go and have a fantastic day. We'll see you the same time next week. God bless.